Let's compare and contrast uh, making blog posts on the HubSpot COS versus uh, WordPress. I think you'll find them to be really quite similar. Uh, so if you're considering making the move to the HubSpot COS, uh, there really won't be that big of a learning curve in how you make a post. So here in um, typical WordPress installation, you know, go to the new, go to post, up pops your title, go into your media, or in the body of the text, you can add media, format it, whatnot, you can get into the actual text mode uh, for the HTML. Um, I've always used uh, Yoast SEO, uh, very good free tool for uh, making sure your SEO uh, is good. Obviously, you can then set the visibility, the status, the draft, uh, draft mode, you know, what is your format, your different categories, uh, and then add your separate tags uh, and featured image. So, you know, nothing, uh, nothing new there. It's really been the same in WordPress for years, as far as I can remember. Uh, inside of uh, the HubSpot SEO or COS now, they have a, a, this composition tool and really I haven't used it too much. It reminds me of posting in Quora or Medium or even a LinkedIn uh, post. But so it just, you know, removes a lot of the distractions. I just, uh, you know, I have my own way of doing things. So um, I typically just go into the new blog post. Now they have uh, templates, okay, a how-to if you were making uh, a blog like that, a list, uh, a visual. So little tools to help streamline and, and accelerate your posting. But typically, you know, 99 times out of 100, I go into the blank post. Uh, I already have my template created, uh, and I'll show you that in a separate video, getting into the design manager. But uh, I've got the layout. I've got my uh, header, nav top navigation, which is a global group, okay, which just like it sounds, it spans the, um, all of my pages and posts. Uh, so by default, it gives you, you know, the title, uh, you get into the actual content. These are CTAs that you see here, and these are smart CTAs, uh, calls to action, and um, as well as this on the right-hand side. So these are dynamic. They'll change uh, depending on the visitor, depending on what you've opted in for in the past. So that's a very nice feature of the HubSpot platform. Uh, to get into the SEO side of things, like we were doing with the Yoast SEO here on WordPress and the, the kind of the default uh, settings in WordPress over on the right, uh, you go into settings on HubSpot. So you select your author. Uh, now you have your topics, so you can have different things. And actually, I'll, I'll make this. I'll pull these up now. So the various topics would be WordPress, it would be uh, HubSpot. It would be, so you saw there, COS. You know, they, they call their content management system the COS because everybody has to make their own acronyms. Um, WordPress, HubSpot versus WordPress, okay. Uh, now you have your campaigns. So I'll, I'll say this one is for to drive traffic to people, for people to buy software from me. Now I'll type in the meta description and then I'll actually create an image for this actual post. I'll upload it to YouTube. I'll embed it on my um, HubSpot blog. And so it'll pull that image up. So you'll see it in the preview uh, when you scroll through the different um, most recent posts. Okay. Once you're done, you can publish it. Uh, publish it now. You can set it for later. And that's it. So like I was saying, if, if you're familiar with uh, making blog posts in WordPress, making the switch over to HubSpot is really simple. As a matter of fact, you can keep your site where it is on WordPress and add HubSpot and just use their blogging and landing page capability along with the automation. But from the, the publishing side of things, your website can stay where it is, leverage the automation, the, the calls to action, the landing page, the intelligence of reporting, um, and HubSpot will actually pull in all of your WordPress posts. And it's really slick. It's pretty simple, uh, relatively painless. You know, it's a new format. So anytime you make a change, there's always a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, but just doing that, you know, I did that two years ago and uh, it, 
I liked it. It was simple. It was easy. Um, moving my entire site, that's a different beast. Uh, that is not for the faint of heart, but uh, I'll dive into that in some future videos. Uh, but if you do need some help making the switch, if you need some help determining if HubSpot is right for you, uh, please let me know. You can visit thesaleswhisper.com, hit the Contact Us page, uh, or I'll put my contact info at the bottom, uh, the back end of this video. Thanks for watching. Good selling.